respected vice chancellor, Professor Dr. Navin Sethji, Honorable Registrar Dr. K. K. Respected Sriva Sahib and his team, my dear brother Mom Swami Prabhu Sevanandji, Adhyaksh of Ramakrishna Mott and the Bar, all the respected dean, faculties, principals, professors, and my very dear students. I'm extremely happy to be to this afternoon and to share my thoughts in this very important program where the CPD program, the course, is being now revised and being reinstalled with many, many changes just now as Mr. Srinivas has explained. It's a very great occasion because it's going to have transformation in the outlook of the professors and the students. And then I would like to congratulate with you being the pioneering institute for becoming the instrument of introducing this CPD course program. As Mr. Stinova said, this course started from GTU. What a wonderful thing. Now, other companies are coming forward, other universities are coming forward. Similarly, I feel that the changes that have been brought about and the new revised program also will be of priority nature. And when it comes to the PG level, it will also have a sprawling effect. And GT will be remembered as a pioneering institute. And I'm sure I'll be very happy the students who pass out after undergoing this program will have 100% employment on campus placement and very good package. But I will be very happier, still happier, if I come to know that with that package, they have fought, moved forward and they are happier in their lives by working for others and by being contributory to the other development. I will be still happier with that. On 18th of November 2018, I was in Harvard University on my way back from attending the World's Parliament of Religions in Toronto. And at that time, I shared my thoughts about SQ. And the students got so much interested that though it was one hour program, the question answer took another one hour. And they also wanted a practical session on meditation. So the program continued for two and a half hours. And by the time we came out, the whole land was full of snow. Very heavy snowfall was coming. Or it was falling, snow was falling, but we did not know. And it was very difficult to go back to our place because of the snowfall. But I was very happy that even the students of Harvard University are having so much interest in not only knowing about SQ, but in bringing SQ in their life, developing SQ in their lives, and also learning about meditation. So if we really want to be a contributive personality, Swami Vivekananda's message is be and make. First you become great, then make others great. First you develop your own personality, then only you can be a contributor personality. And when we talk about personality, I try to give you a separate name because personality development has annotation where it is more related to your hairstyle and outer show and your etiquettes and manners and dresses and the most communication skill. But what personality development we are talking about is not only about outer engineering, about inner engineering. Is not only about the outward show but also the inner development of personality. So I have given the name of total personality development. 
TPD. TPD is equal to IQ plus EQ plus SQ. What is IQ? You know, intelligence quotient. All of you are intelligent, that is why you are in this hall. That is self evident. What is EQ? EQ is emotional intelligence. Daniel Goldman made a research in 1991 and he said EQ is more important than IQ. Here is the example that supposing there is the executive in the gold medalist, highly knowledgeable, very high IQ. But only one defect. When he gets angry, he throws performance and disappointments. So nobody wants to work under him. So though he is a gold medalist, he has failed in his career. Why? Throwing overweight, paperweights. He cannot control his anger. Emotional quotient is not there. EQ. So EQ is more important than IQ. And the latest discovery of the modern science is SQ. Dana Zoha, she is a professor in Oxford University. She has written a book. The name of the book is SQ Spiritual Intelligence, the Ultimate Intelligence. Where she says, neurologically, physiologically, psychologically, biologically, from every point of view, there is concluding evidence. There is something called SQ, which is the basis of both IQ and EQ. What is IQ? If it is quotient, IQ will tell you how to play the game of life. What is EQ? EQ will tell you how to play the game of life under change circumstances with change strategies. What is SQ? SQ will tell you why to play the game of life. What is the purpose? What is the purpose of life? Why you have come to this life? What is the ultimate aim? At the end of the day, how do you feel about it? So Kabir says, Jab tu aya jagat me, jab hase, tu roe. Aisi karni kar jalo marke samay, tu hase, jab roe. That is the part. That is the aim of it. At the end of the game, you may have got Mercedes Benz car, you may have the latest model house, latest model car, latest model mobile and all this Mercedes Benz car, everything. But you can't carry anything when the last call comes. Again it's coming. I, I heard that, that Corona, <laughs> COVID-19 coming through China. <laughs> Whatever it is, we, we pray that it doesn't come. But even without Corona also people are dying. Remember, death will come in any time. The most certain thing in this world is death. And the most uncertain thing, time of death. Police latest model mobile to Over. Nothing can take you, even this body you cannot take. Or to obvious that the body is not going to be able to do it, then you will be able to do it. That is the game. That is S. What is the ultimate aim of life? What is the purpose of life? Why we are on this earth? Dana Zohar says, we are living in a dumb society. All over the world. Not only Western society. Now it has come to India. Now it has come to Asian countries. Everywhere. People are mad. Do not know. There's a beautiful Zen story. A horse was galloping at full speed. And somebody asked the person, hey, where are you going? And he said, ask the horse. He goes, I am not taking the horse. The horse is taking me. <laughs> I am not leading the life. Life is leading me. Everybody going after a carrier tournament, I am also going after it. Everybody going out of package, I am also going after it. Everybody going after this or that. And everybody going to the well, I am also going to the well. <laughs> Very poor we came out there. Like flock of sheep. We are like flock of sheep. We never think what is the purpose of life. What is the aim of life? Why we have come to this earth? What do we want to achieve? At the time of the death, I have got happiness and peace. And I go to the eternal abode with happiness and peace. And I have got eternal life. Nobody thinks about it. We are living in a dumb society, Tana Zohar said. And she gives a beautiful example. <laughs> Very funny example. By the side of the Mexican coast, there was a management consultant. He was sitting there, it was afternoon. And at some time, some distance, there was a fisherman sitting in the boat. So this 
Then I turned to say, hey, why are you sleeping? Why not fishing? It's still afternoon. And that person in the sleeping portion said, Sir, you know what happened? In the morning, I got a big catch. Big fish. I sold it. I got a lot of money. So my quota of earning money is over. And so I am relaxed. Huh? Is there any quota system here? You must have more. So, but what do I do with that with more money? Why? Deposit. Deposit. You never heard about deposit. Yes, deposit. Open a bank account. Then that you have done. <laughs> <laughs> Open the bank account and go on depositing. Then what? When you have got enough, then you purchase another boat. You will get more fish and more money. What to do with that money? Again, deposit. Like that, go on depositing, go on purchasing boats, and then you will become CEO of a multinational company. Then you move your headquarters from Mexico to New York. And open branches all over the world. Then, then naturally you have to go all over the world. You have to fly. Naturally, you have bypass surgery. When there are three bypass surgeries, and doctor says no more, <laughs> then you retire. Then you sell the company. Come back to me with your money. I am an investment expert on hardware. I will tell you how to invest the money, where to invest the money. And when you invest like this, then every month there will be full fixed income. And you will be able to sleep nicely without any tranquilizer. Sir, I was sleeping nicely until you woke me up. <laughs> was sleeping nicely in such a round over process? Dana Suha says, this fisherman has got low IQ. He doesn't know how to make money. This management expert has got more IQ. He knows how to make money. But this fisherman has got high SQ. He knows. What was of life is happiness and ease, whereas the management expert has got low SQ, he doesn't know what the purpose of life is. Now, don't take a wrong message. That does not mean we should not try for a better package of unemployment. No, that is important. That is the first step. But don't stop at career development. Next step is character development. Don't stop at only physical. Total personal development is physical. Development of the personality, mental development of the personality, intellectual development of the personality, moral development of the personality, and spiritual development of the personality. And how these five will come? Through five parameters self confidence, self reliance, self knowledge, self control, and self sacrifice. If these five qualities are developed, you will be able to develop all these traits. Five types of development in the personality. When there is total personality development, TPD is equal to IQ plus PQ plus SQ. Special development will be able to tell you what is the real aim of life, what is the real purpose of life. Have money, there is no problem, but you must know how to use the money. At the same time, you must know what is happiness, what is peace. Happiness and peace does not really only depend upon your package. Had it been so, so many suicides, you know, are happening in the Western world. So called developed countries, not only developing countries, the increasing number of suicide is in developed countries where standard of living is very high, their per capita income is very high, and yet the number of suicide is increasing. Derek Humphries, he has written a book. The name of the book is Final Exit. And the book is also Exit, not available. <laughs> With great difficulty, I got a copy of the book in book fair. I wanted to know what is written there. Do you know what is written? How to commit suicide. <laughs> Novel methods of committing suicide. And it has become a bestseller. And in Japan, the name of the bestseller book is The Complete Manual on Committing Suicide. 3.5 days copies sold in one year. And some people, they took the book in their hand, committed suicide in the manner in which it was told in the book. France, the best seller in the book is Suicide Users Manual. They all want to commit suicide. And that thing now is completely our students also want to commit suicide. They become a fashion. I just hang there and have a school suicide note. And some people are making their videos also, putting in the fair book and saying, This is how I am going to commit. Fools, fools, fools. It is a world of fools now. 
What is it? You don't come here as a human being. Great gift of God is human birth. Out of thousands of these lakhs of yonis, we have got this human being. These human beings are considered the best. Baki Badi Koi Yonima is a Bhakti Kaisaki himself, realizing Kaisaki infinite power, infinite knowledge, infinite bliss, Avisaki. No other yoni can have it. But only human beings can have it. This is what our scripture says. But what is the modern science says? Modern science says IQ is available with all the species, including computers. EQ is available only with a few species. But SQ, spiritual portion, is available only with the human beings. 12.5 million of units are there according to modern science. It is not much different from our Indian scriptures we are telling. But, today as Hilak Yoni Mati, 125 lakhs spent. So much is luck. That's all. Different, but not much. But, both are telling the same thing. Our scriptures say only human beings can have self knowledge, can have spiritual knowledge, and the modern science says only human beings can have SQ. Now, the billion dollar question is how to develop SQ. Just remember one sentence of Swami Vivekananda. Beautiful. He gives the gist of the whole of Vedanta, the whole of Yoga, and everything. What does he say? Each soul is potentially divine. Each soul is potentially divine. Potentially. Remember the word potential. Each soul is potentially divine. The goal of human life. Why they are committing suicide? Because they do not know what is the goal of life. What is the purpose of life? They think the purpose of life is to have a letter model. But if I don't have that, I will commit suicide. That is not the purpose of life. What is the purpose of life? What is the aim of life? The goal of human life is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature, external and internal. How to do it? Do this either by work or worship or psychic control or philosophy by one or more or all of these can be free. This is the whole of religion. Doctrines, dogma, rituals, temples, churches, mosques are what secondary details. The goal of human life is to manifest the divinity. When you manifest the divinity, what happens? Infinite happiness, everybody wants happiness. Infinite joy, everybody wants joy. Infinite peace, everybody wants peace. Infinite bliss, infinite knowledge, infinite life. That is what happens when you manifest the divinity. And it is your birthright. You don't have to get it. You don't have to import that divinity from anywhere. It is there already. Only you have to uncover. The covering is there. You have to remove the cover. So Kavi says, This is there. The source of infinite joy is there. Where are you going? Moko kaha to dunde bande. Meto tere paas mein. Kholo ke to abhi milunga. Palmai ki talash mein. But humko ne kya kya palmai ki talash mein. Kyo? Is mein agyan ka padda hai. That is why another song of Kavi says, Umpe tika apat khol re. Tohe piya milenge. Patr ko bache na mat bol re. Tohe piya milenge. You will get the beloved. How? Just remove the screen. Remove the skin. How do you remove the skin? There are four methods. Raj Yoga, meditation, Bhakti Yoga, prayer, Gyan Yoga, inspirational reading and thinking over it. And four is Karma Yoga, unselfish service. We are talking about Karma Yogi. How it will come? Two things necessary for converting Karma into Karma Yoga. Two things. One, unselfishness. Second, detachment. The spirit of detachment should be there. It is, but if it is not there, it is misery, misery, misery. Whatever work we do, whatever fruit you do, I have got 90%, so I'll come to say. Huh? People who are failing in three times, they are getting power from the books of Swami Vivekananda, and they are becoming IS officer. And here is another person, 90%, because I expected 98%, and my friend has got 92%. I have got less than that, so I'll come to say. Foolish, foolish, foolish. All foolish people. Why? Because no development of history. This is why it is an urgent necessity 
if we want to protect our students, our dear students, our children from committing suicide, from becoming drug addict, from becoming schizophrenic, high time that we introduce this course of total personal development, of development of SQ, of this contributing personal development program. It should be in each and every college, in each every institute, it should be there. And we have been trying to tell the government, I'm happy to tell you that the new education policy 2020 has brought, has taken many of the concepts of Swami Vivekananda about the development of this without mentioning the name of Swami Vivekananda. Without mentioning that I have asked you, there are many things that are even there in the new education policy. And I'm very much sure if we implement this new education policy 2020 in our educational institutions, it will be altogether different world. We will not have to, everyday newspaper will not have to see the news, the bad news of some youngsters, some students committing suicide, and some people they are going for their quality, or some people just cutting the girl into cutting two pieces, all these things will not be there. If the true education comes, no girls will be cut into cutting two pieces. I am very much sure. So let us pray to the Lord. May He grant us strength so that we may understand what is real education and try to impart this education to our children and save them from suicide or from murder or from their gradual slow death. Thank you very much.